After a long sea voyage, Aya arrives at Bravos. Aya is awestruck by the Titan, which, according to the captain, would wake and protect the city whenever Bravos stood in danger in the old times. Aya replies it's just a statue. Just then, the Titan lets out a loud blast announcing their arrival, startling her, but she convinces herself that she is not afraid. Teres rows Aya to the House of Black and White, where he claims she may find Jacken, and Aya thanks him for bringing her this far. Aya lingers outside waiting for admittance, but is rejected by an elder man despite showing the coin Jacken Hagar had given her and mentioning their prior association. Aya waits outside the house for days, endlessly reciting the names of the people she wants to kill, but eventually tosses away her coin and wanders off into the streets of Bravos. While hunting for pigeons in the city, Aya encounters several boys who intend to take Needle from her. Although she is more than willing to kill them, the boys scatter when the man from the House of Black and White appears again behind her. After following him back to the house, Aya demands to know his identity, and he returns to her the coin she had thrown in the water. His face morphs into the visage Aya had known him as, that of Jack and Hagar. However, he insists he's not Jack and Hagar, but, no one, as all faceless men are, and he tells Aya she must learn to be, no one, as well. As Aya cleans the main sanctuary of the House of Black and White, she watches the man who looks like Jack and Hagar assist another man in drinking from the temple's well. When the man leaves to pray, Aya tells Jack and that she wants to learn. He recites the phrase, Vala de Hyrus, meaning, all men must serve, and accuses Aya of only wanting to serve herself. When Aya looks back at the praying man, she sees that he has died and two men take his body away, ignoring Aya when she asks what they are doing with the body. Later, Aya is accosted in her room by the waif, who repeatedly asks her who she is, hitting her when she gives the expected response of, no one. Eventually, Jacken arrives and demands the waif to stop. He notices that Aya was about to attack the waif with needle and points out that Aya cannot be no one, as she is still wearing Aya Stark's clothes, is in possession of Aya Stark's silver, and was about to attack the waif using Aya Stark's sword. In order to meet the order's initiation requirements, Aya throws her old clothing and silver into the lagoon. Too attached to Needle, however, she is unable to discard it and hides it among a few rocks nearby. Later, as Aya is sweeping the floor, Jacken escorts Aya to an inner chamber where she is to help the waif in stripping and washing corpses. The waif doesn't respond when Aya asks what happens to the bodies after they are cleaned. Aya finishes cleaning a corpse which is then taken away by two men. Aya wants to know what happens to the body she cleans, but the waif tells her that she will know when the time is right. Aya demands to play the game of faces. The waif tells her that she has already tried playing the game but failed. She asks Aya who she is, to which Aya replies that she is no one. When the waif is about to walk away, Aya asks her who she is. The waif tells Aya a story about how she was the only daughter of a widowed lord, who remarried, producing another daughter. Her stepmother, in order to secure her own daughter's future, tried to poison her. The waif found out about this and sought out the help of the faceless men to exact her revenge. The waif then asks Aya whether she believed the story. When Aya doesn't respond, embarrassed that she bought the waif's story, the waif tells her to get back to work, hinting that to pass the game of faces, Aya must be able to lie convincingly. Later, when Aya is asleep, Jack and Hagar comes to test Aya again. This time, when he asks Aya who she is, Aya tells him how she came to join the faceless men, trying to slip in a few lies into the story. However, Jacken is able to tell when Aya is lying and hits her whenever she does. Before he leaves, he tells her that she is lying not only to him, but to herself as well when she says she hates the hound. A grieving father brings his sick daughter, Gita, to the house of black and white, wanting to end her suffering. Aya tells the girl a full story about how she was sick too, but her father brought her here and when she drank from the temple's well, she was healed, persuading Gita to drink the poisoned water from the well. The girl dies, and Aya, having proven that she can lie, is brought to the Hall of Faces by Jacken. All the faces had been taken from the corpses that the acolytes wash in the temple. He then asks Aya if she is ready to give up who she is to become, no one. After a moment of silence, he then states that she is not ready to become, no one, but that she is ready to become, someone else. Arya's first assignment is to pose as a shellfish merchant to study a target known as the Thin Man. 
Before the assassination is carried out, Aya is distracted by the sight of a name on her list, Meron Trant. She sees him dock and follows him as he guards Mace Terrell on his way to the Iron Bank. That night, Aya follows Trant and several guards to a brothel. She is chased out by the owner, but not before she learns that Trant prefers sex with very young girls. She reports her failure to kill the thin man to Jacken, not mentioning why she failed, and promises to try again tomorrow. Trant is given three girls the next night, whom he beats for his amusement. The first two are left whimpering from his beatings, but not the third. Trant dismisses the first two and continues to hit the third girl, to no effect, so he punches her in the gut. Crumpled on the floor, the girl removes her face and reveals herself as Aya wearing the mask of dead Gita. She quickly stabs him in the eyes and several times in the chest, but her blade is too short and has little effect. She teases him about how he was the first name on her list and how the many-faced god has denied her of others, but how he has delivered Trant to her. She asks him if he remembers Sirio Forrell, who he presumably killed in King's Landing. She assumes he doesn't. Aya then asks if he knows who she is, though Trant is in too much pain and shock to understand what is happening. She reveals herself as Aya Stark, and slits his throat. Aya returns to the House of Black and White to put the face she used back on the wall. She is caught by Jacken and the Waif. They are displeased that Aya has defied the many-faced god by killing someone who was not hers to kill. The Waif restrains Aya and Jacken pulls out a vial of poison saying, only death can pay for life. Just before Aya thinks she is about to be poisoned, Jacken drinks it himself and dies. The Waif questions Arya's grief for her friend, only to shock Aya by revealing herself to be Jacken. Confused, Aya repeatedly removes multiple faces from Jacken's body until she sees her own face. Arya's eyes fill over with white as she is rendered blind as punishment.